first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Before we get a check of our forecast, take a look at your screen. This is video from one of at least two tornadoes that touched down in eastern Nebraska today. It was taken in Waverly, which is near Lincoln. One of those strong storms even moved into Iowa, north of Council Bluffs. According to the National Weather Service, a tornado warning was in place for parts of eastern Nebraska. It has lived, but since been lifted. I know there were tornado warnings all over. Meteorologist Sarah Knox was tracking some of those, and they were heading into Iowa, too. Yeah, yeah it was quite the wild day. Just just there, the border on mm -hmm. Nebraska and Iowa, just watching those storms. I was clicking on some DOT cameras, trying to get as close as I could, and I saw some of the DOT workers actually zooming in and also trying to get some shots of the tornado. It was a wild ride a little further to our south for us. We didn't deal with much of that, which isn't necessarily a bad thing for sure, but we did get some rain beneficial rain and now we're dealing with a little fog leftover fog here as dew points and temperatures kind of right by each other thus the clouds can form a little closer to the surface check out Austin that's where we're seeing those clouds really low even in Rochester where visibility is back to a perfect 10 but these clouds can you can still see evidence that they were hanging out a little closer to the surface not long ago all right moving over to satellite and radar and we are still very much stuck in the spin of this powerful low pressure system response for bringing a lot of the storm activity, not all of it, further to the south. In fact, what we're seeing here, the remnants of those strong storms, of the tornadoes that dropped in Nebraska, in Iowa. Luckily, much weaker here in our neck of the woods. We're still seeing a few flashes of lightning, hearing some rumbles of thunder. Buffalo Center had a little bit more activity now. A lot of that moderate rainfall has moved just further to the north. Places like Charles City about to get some more moderate rain as well. Riceville, you're probably seeing the lightning, hearing the rumbles as well. Moving over and zooming out now, we are checking where that center of the low pressure system can be found and it continues to bring more and more moisture our way. Now we are going to get a nice break from the rain as we head into our Saturday. We're also going to see these temperatures continue to climb up. If you joined us earlier on in the evening, maybe around the 6 p.m. newscast, you'll remember that the temperatures weren't very different than where they were right here. Rochester still sitting about 49 degrees. Some of us even a little warmer. Owatonna Austin 52. Same with Mason City and look at Charles City at 54 degrees. Still dealing with some breezier conditions which makes things feel a little cooler. These temperatures are not done. They are going to rise as we get overnight. They will drop a little as they naturally do as we get around the sun's sunrise and then they are going to warm up even more. Attempts getting into the upper 60s. Some of us could even make it to that 70 degree mark or above depending on how much sunshine we see. But this warmth, this instability fuels the chance for additional rounds of showers and storms. So let's check it out here on Sky Tracker 3. First, this is around 11 p.m., so not too long from now. We're going to watch as the current system, or rather the rain, the cell that is in our area now, continues to spin out by Saturday morning. Mostly cloudy skies but no rain. In fact, the rain will hold off until we get late into our Saturday. We're talking really as we get closer to the overnight hours, there is a chance for strong to severe storms in the southeast. Sunday, less of a chance for severity, but we still see scattered showers and storms. It's going to be quite the rainy one. Quick look at the seven day forecast now where the weekend is always in view and with those warm temps on Saturday, like I said, just adds fuel to the chance for storms and more showers on Sunday. Cammie.